today's Growing STEM, a woman who is a true explorer. Dr. Katherine Sullivan was the first woman to perform a spacewalk, and years later, she dove the depths of the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, that's quite a difference in highs and lows. From orbit to the lowest known point in the ocean, that makes Sullivan the most vertical traveled person. With her feet firmly planted on the ground, she sat down with our Betsy Kling for a little chat. Dr. Kathy Sullivan has always been an explorer. The three-time astronaut wasn't only the second American woman in space. In 1984, she became the first woman to spacewalk 140 miles above Earth. 36 years later, she dove more than 35,800 feet beneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean, and the feat made Sullivan the first woman to reach the bottom of the Mariana Trench. These accomplishments make her the first person to reach outer space and the deepest part of the seas. Simply put, Dr. Sullivan is an inspiration for many. Well, I think it's one of the, the greatest and best privileges that come with earning the astronaut label is that it, you know, it opens hearts and minds in, in many, many ways. It was an oceanography course her freshman year of college that turned this linguistics major into a record-setting scientist. It boiled down to this is really fascinating me. I don't know what to do with it. I'm really good at languages. What do you guys do? What, what does being an oceanographer mean? There's something under that stupidly put question or that naively put question. And you, you know, you have a moment, just a moment to decide. Are you gonna pick at what's underneath there and grow it a little bit? How does it make you feel to know that you're the inspiration for future generations? It, it's a huge boost of confidence for a youngster, I think maybe even for any of us, some bit of affirmation from a person, from an older person or a person you've admired a bit, that it just sort of endorses that you, you've, you've got some good stuff in you. you know, that, hey, that sounds like an interesting track. Hey, yeah, go get them. Sometimes we all just need that, just somebody yeah. to identify in us what we can't see ourselves. You get to decide if they're a hobby, a passing fad, uh, the threat of a life's work, that's up to you. Really the seed that grew in me was nobody gets to edit your interests. Now, the world is full of people. Many of them may well have an opinion about your interests and whether you should have those interests or not. Yeah, but an opinion is just a puff of air unless you give it some power. So they don't get to edit what you're interested in. I absolutely love that she said that. An opinion is just a puff of air. You do you is what she's saying there. She's not only been an astronaut and an oceanographer, uh, she has a geology degree. She loves maps and geography. She's also been the head, the administrator of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And to top it all off, she was also the chief executive officer of COSI in Columbus oh, for a wow. number of years. So she has had quite a huge uh, career that just keeps on going. She's never going to stop exploring. Super accomplished. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything on her bucket list that she hasn't scratched off yet. See, a better person doing the interview would have asked that, <laughs> but you? alas, she no. was stuck with me. That's that's a great question to ask. I, I wonder because she's been so high, she's yeah. been so deep, she's been right. she's done it all, and a true inspiration. You're right. Yeah, really that cool. was really cool. It, there was total fangirling happening. I could see. I, I could see you were in your element. I was so excited to talk to her. <laughs> and Thanks, Beth. Opinion Bats. is a puff of air. We need wow. that monogram somewhere. That right? is smart. <laughs> we do. That's Cleveland. We can have it on a T-shirt. Well, let's see. There you go. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Thank you, Betsy.